today we are making a video on blend os so there was a that was the boot menu so it just boots in a like a two to three seconds you don't even have uh, that much of time to show the boot menu so there is no option to uh, in the boot menu there is uh, just a live boot so this is the latest version of a blend os so again it's going to take like a maximum of a one minute or a 30 to 40 seconds uh, because usually that that's much uh, time which is uh, taken by the every linux distro <laughs> so it's going to take a few more seconds and we should be having our desktop layout completely loaded so i forgot to mention that i'm running it on a virtualization which is a vmware with 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and with the two processors. So uh, another thing is that I will be posting two videos daily without missing any day. So I already posted a content of a Linux distro. If you want to check that out, you can check that out in my channel after watching this video completely. So it's almost like a 25 seconds completed almost uh, still a few more seconds and we should be having our desktop layout completely loaded. So this is a GNOME desktop environment of a Blend OS of 2023 and a May edition I guess. So I am going to be showing you how to download and I am going to show you their uh, website. So here is a desktop layout of the Blend OS. I think it's completely loaded I guess. And here is our uh, GNOME desktop environment with a Blend OS welcome screen popped up. So let's first change the resolution because it looks pretty odd because I'm running it on a virtualization which is a VMware. So this is a welcome screen. So let me first change the display settings. My monitor is 1920 into 1080. So let's uh, check the 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio. So this is the resolution. If you can't see the uh, text or the font size or the icon size, you can change the scaling up to 200%. There is no fractional scaling, but uh, you can change up to 200% with a 1920 into 1080. That would be a good option. So let's go to the about section and uh, see what is the information. It's a blend OS and uh, I'm running it on a live mode. So it didn't have even uh, installation in the boot menu you already saw. If you want to check that out, you can check that out in uh, going back in the video. So the, here is a di uh, device name which is a live and I'm running it on a VMware. It says a VMware and the memory is I'm choosing a 4 GB of RAM which I already mentioned. I'm using a 4 GB of RAM for my VMware. So this is my CPU and this is the graphics and the hard disk capacity. For some reason it says uh, 86 GB but uh, I have only 80 GB. So I don't know why it's saying like that. So the operating system name is a blend os and it's a rolling uh, it's a 64 bit and it's a rolling release so be you need to remember that thing also no version is uh, not available right now it will be available in few seconds and windows system is a wayland virtualization is vmware so let me close this thing and uh, check it out of the welcome screen welcome to the blend os so let's start this a region is uh, united states of america you can choose uh, change anything uh, usually didn't work for in the KDE desktop environment also. I tried the KDE desktop environment. It didn't uh, work properly. So let's hope at least a KDE Plasma a GNOME version uh, should work. So let's search. Let's uh, choose the Los Angeles. America Los Angeles. And this is the timing. So let's keep it like that. So let's uh, choose this option. If you want you can change it it's clearly up to you username and password so let's change the username and let's provide the password also you don't need to provide the actual username you can provide anything you want for the password i'm choosing the one two three four five which is simple one uh, you don't need to provide the simple password you should provide the strong password because uh, it will be safe uh, for the sake of the video i'm choosing the simple password because i'm not going to use this uh, linux distro after the making of the video so uh, let's click on next so it's going to install it on my hard disk i don't want to because i want to use it in a live mode so you can do it uh, to switch to manual partitioning or the automatic one i'm using a vmware so 
you should be even if you have like a two hard disk or a two ssd you should be having an option of a two uh, disk destination of an installer so it's uh, about jgui it's a 1.9.0 for crystal linux so try to try to ignore the background noise because uh, something is going around my neighborhood so these are the options of the installation uh, if i choose it's going to install it so let's uh, try this so these are all the summary after clicking on next it's going to install i'm not going to install usually it should take like a maximum of uh, 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 20 minutes uh, depends on your pc and depends on the linux system it should take like a maximum of 20 minutes or minimum of uh, 5 to 10 minutes so if you have a good end pc you should be uh, installed in like a 5 to 10 minutes if you have a low end pc it should take like a uh, 20 minutes and uh, remember that thing you should check out the system requirements of the blend os before you install it because we don't know how much of uh, uh, system requirements they need we need to go to their website for that so let's first go to open the system monitors to check out the uh, resources of uh, how much resources are consumed so these are all the process running right now so resources let me change the color of the cpu so you can properly see here is the graph of a cpu here is the graph of a, a ram it's already a 1.6 gb so if you are having a 2 gb of ram and if you have a low end pc i don't think it works on a low end pc because it's already a 1.7 gb we just opened uh, just uh, installer that's it we didn't open uh, much of any apps so it's clearly up to you to use it or not because it's already uh, around like a 2 gb so here is the ram uh, here is the cpu try to remember this thing or write it down or if you don't want to write it down or remember you can put my video side by side because i'm going to open the system uh, monitor again at the end of the video so you should be having an idea and you should be having an uh, answer uh, you should be having uh, you should be own to judge this uh, linux system to use it or not uh, you should be uh, sorry because i'm tired i don't know what i'm talking you the one person should judge uh, to use this linux system or not i'm sorry because i'm stuttering because i'm too tired because i already made like a uh, six videos i guess so that's the reason so that was the system monitor let me open the terminal first and uh, get the information of the distro let's find the terminal which should be here which is console it's a 44 uh, gnome 44 desktop environment so let's type in the command which is uh, inxi sv8 this is the command which will uh, get the all the distro info but uh, we don't uh, find the command so no problem let's type in the neofetch if it's available neofetch is not available so let's type in the u name r so this is the kernel version which is a 6.2.13 so let's type in htop even htop is also not found i don't know there is nothing pre-installed i think you should install of your own everything uh, if you want anything you need to install uh, it on your own so it's clearly up to you to do, choose this linux distro or not almost every linux distro will provide like a hstop and neofetch uh, inxi pre-installed but uh, this blender has didn't provide anything no problem let's uh, exit this thing and uh, check out other features so let's open the firefox web browser and uh, go to their website and check out the information and uh, i'm going to show you the download process also so firefox should take like a maximum of 20 seconds to load up but it took like a 7 to 8 seconds that's pretty good let's check out the version of firefox first it's 112 which is the latest version that's also cool let's type in the search term which is a blend os and here is the website which is a blendos.co try to ignore my stuttering because i'm too tired i already made like a six videos today so i'm too tired so these are all the information if you want to go through all these things you can go through on your own so let's click on try blend os because that's the downloading process so it will take directly to their github page here is the url so here are the downloads
The version is a 23.04 version 2. It's a latest version. It was released with uh, like a two weeks ago. So it's a GNOME and a KDE Plasma ISOs. There are two desktop environments available. I think this is a 23.04-1 version, I guess. I think that this is a point update, I guess. I don't even know properly know. And I think this is a kid who made Unity. Yes, this is a kid uh, who made the Unity. Sorry for that because I don't like the Ubuntu Unity and this also because it's a pretty weird uh, Linux system which consumes a lot of resources. Even the Ubuntu Unity uh, consumes a lot of resources. Uh, if you love it, I don't have any hate with you. Uh, for it's my personal opinion. I clearly hate this Linux system uh, which is uh, Ubuntu Unity, Ubuntu Studio and Ubuntu Budgie. And this one, the Blender OS, I really hate them. So if you like it, I have no problem. You can love it. Uh, so that's the downloading process. So let me choose the GNOME desktop environment. You can go to the SourceForge or you can go to the Google Drive. It's always a good option to Google uh, first go with the Google Drive because that's uh, that has some fast servers. So it's almost like a 2.8 GB of file size and I'm using a VPN so it should be slow. So let's try the Google Drive and see. And uh, what we what are the speeds we get here? Click on download. You can't view or download this file at this time. Too many users. So this will be always the problem. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, you should be good uh, because it automatically redirects to your Gmail account, and you should be downloading uh, with your Gmail. So if you have like a private mode, you didn't sign in, you should be getting this type of message. If you get this type of message uh, and you don't have an email so it's a better idea go with the source forge so this is the downloading process let me close this thing and let's find out uh, what are the pre-installed apps which comes with the blender OS. so these are all the uh, apps which comes with the blender OS. nothing uh, fancy or uh, different here all the almost everything uh, which comes with the gnome desktop environment here is there in the uh, blender OS. And the version of the every app will be like a GNOME 44 because that's the latest version of the uh, GNOME desktop environment. So you don't need to open every app and check the version because it's a GNOME desktop environment. Uh, almost every app will be having a GNOME desktop environment 44 version. So let me quickly show you the version of uh, here. You can see it's an old version still. I don't know what is wrong with this uh, Blend OS. We have like a 43.4. Let's open the software manager and uh, let me show you the all apps here. Like a version of almost every app here. It's a 43.5 plus. That's weird. I saw always saw that version will be like a 43.5, but it says like a 43.5 plus. So these are all the installed apps. As you can see, you have a tick mark here. So let's open this thing and see. Again, it's going to take like a few more seconds to load up. Usually it shouldn't take like this much of time. I don't know why. So it's taking a lot of time. It's a waste of time to even wait for that. So even it's uh, updates taking a lot of time. So let me close this thing. And uh, I don't think we have anything to look here. I think these are some of the web apps. If you want to install it, you can install it, I guess. So let's try the DuckDuckDo. Here is the search engine or the browser. It's taking a lot of time. So instead of waiting for this thing, so let's go with the system monitor and end the video. And as you can see, the resources is almost a 1.8 GB, like a 100 to 200 MB extra. Uh, we didn't open that much of apps so it's clearly up to you to use it or not i'm not going to recommend this linux distro for the people who have a low end pc because there are good linux distros with uh, lightweight uh, desktop environments i made a lot of videos on that if you want to check that out you can check that out in my channel so if you have a low end pc i'm not going to recommend uh, recommend this linux distro 
so if you still want to try it you can try it on your own like a uh, first boot is in a live boot then go with the installer or the installation process don't just blindly go with the installation after you download first try it for like a uh, two to three hours a uh, good two to three hours after you satisfied you can go with the installation don't just blindly download and uh, uh, install it so this was the tip and this was the video of the blender s linux distro so there is nothing to show here so even the uh, not the unique apps we found here you don't even have a gimp and library office i guess so let's check out that we didn't find anything like that you don't even have a library office everything should be installed on your own so it's clearly up to you to use it or not so let's find out at least a gnome version now i think the gnome version should be like a 43 point uh, yes it's a 43.5 so we have like a 44.4 or 5 something like that right now so it's always a good option to download the latest version of the linux distro instead of uh, uh, waiting for this older version of a gnome so that's the end of the video i think so again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out I already made a video of other Linux distro. If you want to check that out, you can check that out after watching this video. Uh, peace out.